Okay, model railroad fans. We're going to test how far my coal train can go on my new peninsula with no feeders. I thought that was an interesting challenge, so here we go. Normal power up through now. <laughs> Okay, it's better. Here's the last feeder. Right there is the last feeder. There are no feeders on the peninsula. This will have a track going off connecting to the other curve over there. So here we go. To get my phone so I can turn him off. Get my iPhone here. Another cut on my hand. This model railroading is dangerous business. Okay, everybody guess how many feet will it be before he runs out of power? Will it be 15 feet? Oh, he's already past 15. Maybe he'll die at 20 feet. He's coming up on 20. Okay. There's the end of the line. You gonna make it all the way? Place your bets. I better get ready to stop him. Okay, look at that. That's about 26 feet. No feeders on this whole peninsula. Now I'm going to install some, but uh, what it tells me is I don't need that many on the main track. I need them around my uh, turnouts because they're electro frog turnouts. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'll put feeders right here and then uh, none on the curve I blended these two tracks together somewhere right here here is and here you can't even hardly see it I'll show you some pictures on that I did that on a couple of places so my uh, packing plant and stockyards will probably go down here a little further with a spur there'll be several tracks along here sightings and spurs This will, uh, as I've shown in previous, this this is going to go over there and curve around down toward Bur toward Burlington. So yeah, wow, no feeders. Pretty interesting. Thanks for watching.